Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. To complete this repair, you will need a quarter inch nut driver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, and an adjustable wrench. Today we're working on an Amana gas dryer. Customer's complaint is overheating. We found no airflow due to a bad blower wheel. We'll be replacing that today. In order to access this component, we must first remove the rear cover. Now that we have access to the rear of the unit, we're gonna remove the rear cover panel and electricals cover held in by a series of quarter inch screws along the outside perimeter of the covers. We'll start with the electrical cover. And you just rotate it out and pull it. Set that aside. There's one dead center on the lower top. And just keep going along the edge, removing all your screws. Now the way this panel comes off is you want to tip it back past the blower outlet and then pull it up and away. You set that aside. Now let's pull the lint screen and we'll remove the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top down to the air duct. And then we will put our foot against the bottom right corner of the dryer and pull the right rear of the lid towards us. And pull up. As we do that, we're gonna repeat that on the left side. Now that our uh, top is loose, I'm gonna lay a protective cover across the top edge or front edge and lean the top all the way back against the wall. Now with the top propped up, we have access to the two 5 16 panel screws located on either side at the top. We're going to remove those. Set those aside. Disconnect our Molex plug. And now you want to lift up on the side and let the panel come forward. And you got to do that for both sides. And pull the panel straight out. Now with the front panel removed and we have clear access to the internal components, we're going to remove the drum. First, we need to release the belt from the motor shaft by pulling the idler back and peeling the belt off of the motor pulley. Let the idler rest. And then we're gonna grasp the top of the belt and lift the belt and the drum off of its support rollers and slide it out. And your drum is removed. We'll set that aside. 
Now that we have the rear cover removed, we have clear access to the four quarter inch screws that hold the blower duct in place. So we're going to remove those. Now with the four screws removed, we're going to grasp the duct and pull up, out, and slide it down out of the cabinet. Quick part note, while you have this part out, make sure you clean this area out. This is where you're going to find your pencils, pens, crayons, hairpins, things of that nature, and lint. Now that we've done all our preparation work. We're gonna remove the blower wheel from the motor shaft. On rare occasions, you may need to break the blower wheel off the shaft, but they are very rare. On some occasions, you may need to undo this rear clip and put a wrench on the blower wheel itself, a large adjustable wrench. But primarily, the way that this blower wheel is gonna come off is you're going to take either a pair of vice grips on the motor shaft or, as I'm doing here, I'm going to put a pipe wrench on the motor pulley. And then, with all my might, I'm going to flip it over to the left and let the blower unscrew on its own. So here we go. So now the blow wheel is loosened and we'll go to the rear and finish unscrewing the blow wheel. And the blow wheel is removed. Now that we have a new blow wheel, let's go ahead and install it. We're going to slip it back into place. and rotate it onto the motor shaft. And you'll feel it snug up. Now we don't have to tighten this because as the dryer drum turns, it's gonna tighten up on its own. Now we can reinstall the duct. Now let's install the air duct. What we're gonna do is line the duct up in the back and bring, it, bring the top in first and raise it up and slide it over the bulkhead. Bring it all the way in, lifting up on it to get it over the back edge. And then we'll let it rest while we grab our driver and our screws. And our screws are down in the bottom here. There's four of them, quarter inch. What we're going to do is lift up on the duct to line up the screw holes. Back these two off a little bit so that we can position where we need to for the bottom screws. And then retighten the top. And now we'll reinstall the rear cover panel. 
Now let's go ahead and install the rear cover. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lay it down a bit and get it over the bottom edge of the uh, cabinet of the dryer and then rotate it up into place and get our screw holes lined up. And we'll get a couple of screws started. along the perimeter. That way when you torque down the first screw, it doesn't shift on you. And now we'll tighten down the center one each top corner. And now we can just start screwing all of our screws in around the perimeter. And lastly, we'll do the electrical cover, which is going to interlock the panels in. and your cover panel is installed. Now let's go ahead and install the drum. First what we'll do is we'll flip the top up and give us extra room. Then we'll grasp the belt and the drum and we will slide it in and set it on the rollers. and rotate the drum so that the felt seal seats against the back bulkhead. Now we'll take our idler pulley. We're gonna tilt the drum up and we're gonna get the front edge of the bracket into the slot in the base of the cabinet and then rock it back so that the little clips go down in the slot provided. Then we're gonna route the belt over the top of the pulley itself and then slip it through the hole under the pulley. and then pull back on the idler assembly. And slip the belt over the motor pulley and peel it around and the idler is installed. We can now reinstall the front panel. The front panel has square holes at the bottom that are going to rest on these clip hooks on the front sides. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Press the front against the drum and bring the panel close to the hook. Mm -hmm. 
slide it down onto the hook. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. Then push back on the drum and push the panel in. Pull forward on the drum to make sure it's seated on the felt seal. Now that the drum is seated on the front felt seal, we're going to install our two 5 16 screws. We'll get our first screw in on one side and then the other. Now that our screws are in place, we'll connect our Molex plug for the door switch. And now we can drop the top and install the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top to the air duct for the lint filter. Now when installing these two number two Phillips screws, you want to kind of line the holes up and start them by hand. Get one started and then finish it off with your driver because if that screw falls down into that duct, you're going to have to disassemble the entire back again to get it out. And now we can reinstall the lint screen. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.